When you are a damn gorgeous reader and you need the perfect gorgeous deck to go with your energy, you would need the palette card. So beautiful, so gorgeous, your reading will show your past, present, and your foreseeable future with amazing colors. Get the palette deck by Sap. Hi Scorpio, so welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. If you are not familiar with this channel, what part of Earth are you in? I'm kidding. So if you are new, this is the extended one. Next is the extended two. Okay, so there's two readings. That's a random read we just picked up. Maybe that's for you and not this one. Okay. Um, 10,000 likes. Okay, I like that I have gotten a little break from you guys. So you guys haven't been winning. Thank you. Okay, I was able to do other stuff in my life. But if you guys still want to win 10,000 likes, you know, make sure you just click the like. And then I do the whole read. We know extended you against all the zodiac. And then 15,000 like um, gets you to our shuffle, but uh, a shuffle, raffle, <laughs> okay. At the description box, comments, uh, uh, go into the comment, hashtag eat love, hashtag salvidora, not in the chat room, okay. So let's see what's going on here. I sing a lot, I talk a lot, it's my channel. So if you have other preference, make your own channel. YouTube is free, Google is free also. So let me be free. Let me do my what I want to do with my life. You got me. Okay. So, all right. So, let's see here. Okay. I like how we say nothing is free. So, I wonder what YouTube is taking from us and Google. Oh, right. Just our information. Thank you. Okay. See, nothing is free. Freaking stalkers, you know. It's like you're just looking at a particular, you know, five carat ruby ring, you know. And now everything is all about ruby. Mm hmm Your name might be ruby. Okay. Here we go. Rodriguez, pack, pack, like, pack, share. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hi, Rufen. Oh, are, are we starting like this, Scorpios? <laughs> are we starting with, with the Hierophant? You guys had amazing reading recently. I don't know which one, but you know, but check it out. Okay. Commitment is is upon you. Is right here. Okay. Word of advice: If you are really looking for marriage. Invest in a, with an astrologer to look for what you know. What dasha are you running? Okay, so you you not you know you're not gonna waste your time. Mm -hmm. Someone wants a truce with you. Okay, this is a person who's wishing that you will um, give them some sort of like I don't know, amending you know, like mending the situation. Mm -hmm. um, of course, this is your seventh house, right? The nodes will move come September, okay? So, you know, partnership is going to be a highlight for the ascendance in the moon. Please get over your sun sign and follow, follow my Sidera astrology. It's not going to get you anywhere. You'll be doing cosmopolitan prediction for the rest of your life, doing your sun sign, okay? Now, this person also could have worked with the government, right? That's the Hierophant, very structured. But this is you. You want a level of structure. Remember that this is your seventh house. You want discipline, order, and truth. That's why you always want the truth only, right? Because seventh house. Okay. Taurus, right there. Mm -hmm. Venus, you want love. You want partnership. You know, you were born to have a partner. That's what happened here. Oh, and the chariot. Watch the concern because the concern is going after someone. Mm-hmm. Mm. This can be you also buying a new car, moving in a new home. Because Zyrofan is contract and D, you know, like titles, you know. Um, chariot here. Hopefully you're not running away from the government, okay? Not unless your your name is Talma and Luis, okay? Bonnie and Clyde, okay? Chariot with the Hierophant. Okay. Someone you can be having cold feet with the guard, with regards to relationship. Like, um, you know, someone got proposed and it's like, I can't, you know, it's like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Chariot. Okay, runaway bride basically here. Who knows? Maybe it's a runaway groom, Sal. Let's keep it together. I know. I hear you, Scorpio. Runaway groom. That's the next movie that I'll be making. Okay. Two of one, someone is uh, constantly searching, trying to see what you're doing. Because you're everywhere right now here. Meaning you're going to work and then traveling and moving, that, that, that. And then the two of ones, there's someone who's heavily watching you. Okay, paying close attention to to where you go, where you're whereabouts, you know. 
constantly googling you because that's the world. Mm -hmm. Would you imagine thousands of years ago, and now they say the world is Google. Okay, I'm pretty sure the person who did the tarot has no idea what is Google. Knight of Wands. Okay. So this person um, is trying to resist to come towards you. They're trying to ignore you also. Mm. They're ignoring even... Like they're going to be snooping at your, you know, it's like at your own business right here. And then vanish again. Okay. Ten of Swords. So there was a relationship, but it ended, yes. Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. Someone here could have lost their job, the Hierophant with the Ten of Swords. I'm not sure what, you know, ho I don't pray or anything that someone lost, but this is what the prediction is. Hierophant with the Ten of Swords, they lost a contract. You could have had a deal, or they had a deal, but someone got let go. Four of Wands. So someone got let go, and then someone wants now to commit, you know, trying to be stable. So you have someone who had, you know, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I don't want to go there. <laughs> Let's just go to the Four of Wands. Someone is coming to rush to you because they know that, you know, like you could be stable or you're rushing towards them. You are the one who lost something. Someone here could have lost their connection with their family. They're distancing their family also. Okay. You got a Seven of Cups. They know that you got options here. They know that you... I... I don't know. I don't want to use that word. Okay. Let's just say you've been out there. Okay. <laughs> You're pursuing your dreams. Okay. Five of Wands. And they're having a hard time resisting because they like to know what you do, but they get confused because you're doing so much things. And then, you know, it's like it brings them some sort of like um, hate and anger. Because <laughs> why watch something? I don't understand that. Okay. It can be a Sag also. They get triggered by things that you're doing. Mm -hmm. You might even also win a contract here. Like you have the upper hand with the Hierophant, you know. Like if you are with the, any, dealing with the law. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Okay. You're not sure if you want this person anymore. Mm -mm. You're not sure. You're thinking that, you know, it's like you can find, you know, they're saying you can find a better eggplant than this one or an oyster. That's what I'm saying. You're looking at it and it's like, you know, I had better. So, okay. And it annoys them kind of. Night of Wands, like, you know, it's like they know that they ain't your surfboard anymore. You know what I mean? Catch my drift. King of Pentacles here and the Ten of Swords. Okay. Someone here is having major difficulty problems with their finances. I doubt that it is you because Jupiter is in your second house. Highly doubt that. Savings is coming towards you. Mm. They're having trouble with their coins right here. And you're being practical also, meaning you're looking for someone who has coins, who has stability. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. An eggplant and an oyster is the same thing as anywhere else. But love and commitment and truth and loyalty, that's different. Ten of Cups, see? You're looking for a love. You're walking away from it. You're trying to heal from it. You you love this person, but for you right now, you know, it's like damage has been done with the Ten of Swords. Okay, you want peace and quiet. Can't be bothered, Sal. Can't be bothered. So you can't be bothered by this person. You could be doing some sort of silent treatment over here with the Six of Swords. You don't want to discuss your feelings anymore. It's almost as if like you're over and done. Yes. When a Scorpio is over and done, it means they're already with someone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but when they're not over, oh my god. Be, <laughs> be careful. Because <laughs> for them, they don't know when to stop. Okay. Got the Justice card, the Hierophant. Ooh, spicy. Okay. So for you, this is not the relationship for you. Meaning you're saying it's like, that was done. I'd rather heal. I walk away. 
let me be. Let me see my options out there. Let me pursue my dream, okay? And then, of course, you have the Libra or the Taurus. You have a Cancer and you have a Sag. You have a Capricorn. For them, it ain't over, okay? It ain't over. So I'm not sure what they're going to do because with the Justice and the Hierophant, this is them trying to tell you the truth that they want partnership. This is true and honest now. Ooh, someone wants to be loyal now. Mm-hmm. What are you? Costco? Loyalty points? Mm-hmm. So someone wants to be Costco with you. Like, again, trying to get some good discounts, are we, with the Ace of Wands, okay? But you're thinking about it, because someone here is just really looking at it, it's like, yeah, whatever, you know, that's your energy, whatever. For this person, it's like they're aggravated, they're hating, and they're confused. It's almost like after the breakup, you know, things hasn't been really, really happy on their end. Okay? So, I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box for the extended. Okay? And we'll see what happens. Um, if you guys offer the webinar, um, webinar is January 11. That's Saturn. Okay? Saturn will be transiting your third house. Okay? So, it's going to be a lot of things about your mindset. There are some sort of desires also that's going to be unlocked for you. There's a lot of creativity, okay, that will be choices is going to be unlocked. There's going to be options for you, okay. We're going to look at, you know, everything about Saturn. So join me on January 11, um, and then the workshop and the webinar, um, the Los Angeles. If you cannot attend in Los Angeles, you can also um, avail of the live, um, you know, uh, what you call it? Uh, it's going to be broadcasted live online, okay. So do um, avail of that. I'll see you guys again, Scorpios and... I'm surprised you guys haven't won. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye. Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your 8th and 9th January. Don't look for any other days because someone has no time for that. Okay. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's move on, people. Okay. If there's no upload, there's no upload. Okay. 8th and 9th. Before we start, also, a lot of people want, still wants to join the subscription. In the next 24 hours, there's a link there. If you want to join Career Finances and Love, it's a separate reading from love, which we always have here in YouTube. Unfortunately, Sal is only one person who cannot upload 24 videos. He only does 12 videos a day, okay? So, that's why. Those are only once a month. And then, you know, if you want it, then there you go. Because I can't do Career Finances and then 12 videos Career Finances, 12 videos Love and Relationship. Mm -mm, no, I have other things to obsess, just like Scorpios, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so link down there in the description box. The rest in love and relationship stays here, okay? So here we go, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, 8 and 9. Here we go. 8 and 9. Here we go. Let me see. Got a Knight of Pentacles. Or out this person really makes an entrance every time. It's a Camel of Pentacles. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna change the world of tarot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start using their actual. Maybe a turtle of uh, turtle of pentacles, huh? Turtle of pentacles. The turquoise of pentacles. The snail of pentacles. What else? <laughs> so the slowest moving knight, right? Um, the Knight of Pentacles. Someone who's but here's the thing though, their offer is stable, okay? You can have a Knight of Cups, Prince Charming over there, that's Prince Eric, okay? Knight of Cups is always Prince Eric. They will charm you, mm-hmm. But chances are they won't stay for long. Knight of Pentacles, they're good. They're there, they stay. They're just annoyingly sn slow, okay? Here we go. That's your seventh house, Taurus energy, okay? Let me see other person. Ooh, High Priestess, which is, for me, High Priestess is a Taurus energy, okay? Don't ask why, okay? But it's also a Pisces, of course. Someone here feels distress about holding on to a secret. Someone has a, ha, someone wants to express themselves over here. I'm not sure what they want to say, but it's building up inside their head, and it's about, they're about to say something. They cannot hold their secret anymore. I'm not sure what they want to do. They haven't expressed. Let me see, other person. Ooh, Justice card. Ooh, wow. It's 
slow and steady wins the race. How about let's just get it on? Okay, <laughs> a waste of time winning the race. So, Justice Card of the Knight of Pentacles. I feel that this person, okay, can be Libra, okay, um, Venusian, Taurus also is Venusian. Um, <laughs> Why do you guys have this argument about blah, like both of you is like disregard each other? <laughs> Someone here just saying it's just like um, you may hate me, you may you may hate me, you may like me, but you have no choice but to be with me. Really? Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Someone here is doing this to you or you to them, um, and it appears to be cute. It appears to be cute. Okay, because they know or you know that no matter what they do and no matter vice versa. It's like, you're going to be here with me anyway. So there's an emotional security that this person have. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, and the strength card. Wow. Okay. Leo over here. Um, strength card with a high priestess. Someone here. You guys can see it. Um, I feel that... Let me see. They're secretly not telling you that they don't want you to go. Whoever this is, because look at that one, the pit bull. Okay, if that's a pit bull, I don't think it's a pit bull. I feel like it's a kind of a bulldog also. Oh, I want a French bulldog. Yeah. Um, look at that one. Okay, someone can be lazy also. Okay, we know how a French bulldog is. Okay. <laughs> now, here, with a strength card here, someone wants you to know, or vice versa, that. They don't want to fight. You don't want to fight. Okay. It just gives them headache. And they want you also to calm down. Mm -hmm. We know when we ask a Scorpio to calm down, they already crossed the zone. The point of no return. Okay. <laughs> a Scorpio has an energy where they will just wake up and they already did the whole thing. <laughs> so the other person is like, don't go there. You know, don't go Jekyll and Hyde. Don't go Hulk on me. You know, it's a headache. They know how you operate, Scorpio. They scared. They scared about your temper. They scared about your tantrums. They scared to you, period. But they hold on to you. You have a crow over here that's Saturn also. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Three of Swords. There's a the clincher. You might go to the dark side, Scorpio. Mm hmm. Someone here wants to make it right because they know they did you wrong. Mm hmm that's what I say. Justice card with the Three of Swords is trying to tell you the truth. That they are also in pain for doing you wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We heard that. Hermit card. Okay. So can be a Virgo. I feel here with the Hermit card and the Three of Swords. Um you probably Okay, needed some time to heal away from this person. You were in seclusion. Hermit card will probably go on vacation, go in the mountains, wherever they need to go. Normally, it's a spa treatment also for the hermit card because um, it's a rest and relaxation. With the hermit card and the three of swords energy, someone also left if someone is lying and keeps hurting them. But you come back now because we are gonna summarize this. Knight of Pentacles, they're slow. Yes. You want to make it right? Yes. This is the same person who has betrayed you? Yes. The other person. They don't tell you, but they're trying to be compassionate about the situation. They don't want you to go if you left because they're holding on to you like a pit bull. I'm not sure why you're like a pit bull over here. <laughs> okay. Um, and the hermit card over here is like because you ain't talking. You ain't having it. I ain't having this cell. I ain't having this. Okay? So Scorpios, I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward with these energies. Link down there in the description box for the 2019 reading. And at the same time, we'll see if this can still be resolved. Because there is hurting over here. There is hurting. Three of Swords in the Hermit card. And there is healing, of course, after hurting. I'll see you guys again, Scorpios. Bye. Everyone, thank you very much for watching the video. The rest of the reading can be found at the link right here. And also, there is going to be a suggested video right here for your zodiacs. Thank you very much for always watching and supporting this channel. Hit that like, that subscribe, and share this video. Always spread the wings, not the legs. Bye.